Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Aries. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, my beautiful Aries. Uh, as well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, Aries, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Aries, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Now, when it comes to my weekly tarot readings, Aries, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Aries. Um, I believe my tarot cards here are just to, here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, but never making the decision in your life, Aries, because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly tarot reading. And also, I just want to say before that, uh, Aries, um, I got my eyebrow pierced last week, and so piercers said I might get a black eye if I bruise easily. Honey, as you can see, the bruising and the swelling is happening, so it might end up getting a black eye by the end of this week. We'll see, honey. Um, but just want to say that as, like, I'm putting my face right in front of y'all as I'm reading y'all's tarot cards. Uh, so I pulled some tarot cards, speaking of which, for y'all, Aries, just so I could get so I could get an idea of what it is that you're currently going through at this time, uh, right? Just getting an update on, on y'all's journey. So uh, I pulled, uh, you guys got two, an extra card actually, Aries, because you guys got the Hermit card, number nine. So write down the number nine for numerology to look up at a later point, Aries. And as well, you have the Unity card, number five, Archangel Sandalphon. So look up five as well for numerology. <coughs> mm. Honey, uh, so let me read off these cards. Very funny how these cards came together for you, uh, Aries, because I feel like in some ways it's kind of like very polar opposite energies. Uh, because the Hermit card says spend quiet time in meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. So a lot of self-reflection happening right now for you, Aries. A time of where it's just like, um, weirdly enough i'm like getting images more so aries of where it's just like you're taking yourself out of like rooms and just being by yourself for a moment it kind of just feels like for some of you guys some of you guys are like having like a midlife crisis almost uh is something that i'm hearing aries of where it's just like you're thinking about you're taking everything in and it's just for some reason like you're having it's just it feels like you're having to just take yourself out of situations and really just in this place of just like thinking about things and taking account to things um aries now i don't know if this is like in a toxic way for some of you guys uh but and i say toxic in a sense of where it's just like you guys end up like reclusing as like a defense mechanism and then like end up like sabotaging like your relationships right because you end up like closing off to them uh but you also have the unity card so this card says traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organization seeking out mentors and like-minded friends so this is what i was saying uh my beautiful aries is that there's the two different cards because it's like on one end you're like in this hermiting phase but then on, other, on another you're like surrounded by um people um who i feel like i feel like it's relatively good people so it's just interesting in this way so for some of you guys i don't know if you feel like the sense of where it's like you don't feel like you belong anywhere uh where or maybe you feel like you're being outcasted in a sense aries or where it's just like i don't know it just feels like again like i can't help but keep referencing um what i was seeing before aries of where uh, I just kind of see you taking yourself out of uh, rooms and just needing time to yourself just to think things over. It just feels... <coughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening, Aries. 
this random cough in my throat is just developing allergies honey am i right but um yeah it just feels like you're needing to just take moments away from the crowd um just to have moments of just self-reflection now um it does feel like for some of you uh aries like a lot of the self-reflection is being triggered by the people around you <clears throat> my gosh aries i'm sorry i would like i don't have anything to drink to like stop this so hopefully it's not too obnoxious <laughs> i'll probably like turn off the camera just to like get this coughing spell out if it's too much but um yeah there is this sense of where it's just like it feels like outside energies are being responsible for like triggering this hermiting phase for you aries it does feel like um maybe it's just like what's i don't know if someone said something i don't know if it's just you watching the dynamic with other people aries that has you just in this place of just being like oh, do i belong here even um because again like i keep on hearing like crisis i don't know if some of you aries are like going through like a midlife crisis or something like this but it does feel like a lot of you guys are just in this evaluation or just like where are you trying to figure out where it is that you belong in the world almost it sounds so dramatic doesn't it uh but you have the five of earth coming in as your clarifiers with the three of water the ace of earth as well as the seven seven of earth y'all also here's got an extra clarifying card to go along with this so you guys are being spoiled this week honey <laughs> but which part do we want to talk about first uh let's talk about the three of water because this is or the three of cups in normal to rome uh aries and so this card says a celebration a wedding a graduation or a birth announcement the need to have more fun now usually with this card uh aries this is letting me know of just like other energies around you right this is like when a tarot reader when a tarot reader sees this card it's like oh, okay there's like other like third party it's very much so that third party energy aries right and so with this this is really emphasizing with the message of your unity card aries where it's just like um really emphasizing like you being around people like and so it's just weird for you to be in this hermiting phase right so it's letting me know that like some of you aries just like even though you're around people you're just like mentally disconnected from them almost right or maybe you're not mentally disconnected from them it's just like you being around certain people is just triggering something in you and i know i keep on saying triggering and like i don't mean it in a bad way i mean honey it may be in a bad way for you but um it just is causing you essentially like by being around people or certain people having you just like self-reflect in some way it's not it's not really showing to me like any action or anything like this it's just kind of like showing to me like heavy in the mental like have you just like like it seems like everyone else is just having like a good time and then like something happened aries and maybe something didn't even happen but you're just like so in your head during this time of where it's just like you just feel like you're not enough in some way. I don't know. It's strange. Um, because I do feel just like a lot of anxiety, right? We have the five of earth or the five of pentacles coming in, uh, which says fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from other people, and uncertain self-employment. So I know I've been speaking about just people and just like family, and like friends and relationship dynamic, right? But this card, again, is like a sense of like just an overall unsureness. So whether it is just like, like, even if it's about a job, Aries, it doesn't feel like you feel too uh, secure in this, in your job, right? It doesn't feel like, it just feels like you're, everything just is up in the air for you. And you don't like having everything up in the air because it just seems like other people are like seemingly in control. And then for yourself, right? The Five of Pentacles is a card of, um, kind of feeling outcasted just not feeling like you belong anywhere right so yeah just like an overall just like anxious card um and just overthinking things aries and so yeah it's a bummer it's just interesting because it's just like this is so different from a different vibe from a lot of your other readings aries because it's just like yeah like so it's really reflective of like how much like how impactful the people around you right now are really like triggering something in you to be thinking right so you have the seven of earth here or the seven of pentacles and now this card says seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry 
So this is where I was saying you're overthinking coming in. Uh, Aries, this is a card of where it's just like those seeds of anxiety are starting to sprout and create a bunch of bushes in your mental garden, taking up a lot of space. So it's just like the more that you continue spiraling into this thing where it's just like, let's just say like, oh, I'm not enough for this person. Like, oh, this person hates me, whatever. It's like everyone's judging me, whatever. Whatever your storyline is, insert your storyline here, honey. Um, we all have them, all right? Uh, because it started out with that because maybe um, their tone was just like a little bit different for you at first and then from there you just start spiraling you start overthinking it every single night you start thinking about it more and more you start convincing yourself it's like oh this person doesn't even want me here I don't belong here and then you start outcasting yourself as the five of earth Aries and then you start creating that reality for yourself when chances are or i don't want to say chances are right because that's presumptuous and comes off as gaslighting uh aries but you know let's just under be optimistic right chances are they weren't even thinking about that in that way aries but because you keep spiraling and feeding energies into those seeds of anxiety they start sprouting and growing and creating like really like it starts like building off of itself right and then it's just like now you just start convincing yourselves that they hate you and they're out to get you right when all it started with was them just saying no that they didn't want a glass of water <laughs> right or whatever it is it just is this level of just like overthinking and then because of that it's just that spiral then you have the ace of earth coming in here uh which is kind of like the wild card here because it's talking about an inflow of abundance promising business ventures and important documents or contracts so again it's almost like for some of you aries it's not just like yeah you have anxiety about this one thing but then at the same time you're also having anxiety about like something with your finances and work as well I don't know if they're like correlated, right? Maybe you have friends in the workplace areas or something like that, um, where it's just like maybe you you start convincing yourself that your boss or your coworker doesn't like you, and so then you feel like your uh, job and employment's up for risk or something like that, right? It just feels somehow like they're connected, right? I do I do feel like your anxiety covers more than, like it's just one of those things where it's just like anxious about the connection, but then from that anxiety from the connection as well affects this other aspect of your life and so it's just like a lot of anxiety just being built off of it so it just kind of like not that i'm saying you should overthink it aries but i can understand why someone would overthink it because it does seem like um you feel as if like a lot weighs on this connection and so it's maybe just like a situation like you care so much and that's why you're overthinking so much right but um yeah something you want to just catch yourself before you get because it's a bad habit to get into uh feeding into those spirals right aries um but yeah let's see how this will work out for you though aries let's see what cards we can get for that how's it going to work out for aries this week this situation let's see here <clears throat> Eh, these two cards. All right, Aries. So the cards that we have for how this is gonna work out. Eh, so you have the Page of Swords, you have the Seven of Swords, and then you have the Five of Wands. Oh, honey. Oh, Aries. This is definitely gonna be a little bit explosive, Aries. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to really like break this down. There, with the Seven of Swords, like it kind of seems like if you uh, allow emotions to boil up too much, you're gonna like there's gonna be a lot of distrust. There's gonna be a lot of just feeling overwhelmed with the situation, um, and so I see you kind of like it's almost just like you start feeding into this narrative, right? Where you're just like, oh, these people hate me, whatever, because you don't talk about it early on, you don't catch it early on, it just starts festering into something even more until it's too much and you start overwhelming yourself. And then this is when the Five of Wands and the Page of Swords starts coming in, Aries, where it's just like kind of rough communication, right? It's not the best communication. <laughs> and it's the Five of Pentacles with it, where it's that conflict. So it's really just the sense of where it's just like things get too much for you. And because you don't address it early on, then it ends up being a little bit more explosive. Things aren't communicated as well. Um, you know, misunderstandings can easily happen from this dynamic. And so, 
definitely what I would be suggesting to you. I wish I could get this. <laughs> You're right. I can't, I wish I could just give like a happy uh, storyline to this Aries, but truly like, I feel like the best thing you can do for yourself at this week is like, once you start identifying yourself spiraling with something, really call it out early on because I see you, the longer you let it fester, the more explosive it's going to be, right? With whatever connections, whatever the situation is for you. So identify the situation and catch it early on so it doesn't turn out to be this explosive of really ugh, heaviness all right Aries you got this though just get out of your head but with that now Aries let's talk about some lighter stuff right let's talk about the blessings that are in the works for you all right let's see what blessings are in the works for my beautiful Aries this week let's see here mm, are we taking no we're not taking those let's see what blessings are coming for my beautiful Aries I still have this tickle in the back of my throat areas, but I'm trying to contain it because, like, I'm really not trying to edit a bunch of coughs down. <laughs> All right, Aries, let's see where the blessing is coming for you that are in the works for you this week. We have the Hanged Man, we have the Hierophant, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Good energy, I would say. Good energy, I would say. Uh, hmm. With this Hierophant here, this is almost like, actually, it's pretty good because actually the Hierophant represents like higher commitment, right? And then you have it paired nicely with the Three of Pentacles where uh, it's those contracts, right? It's, you know, you have the Ace of Pentacles from before, but it does feel like that was kind of more so inclined, uh, connected with that social situation. Or I don't want to say it's social, but just like it does feel like you're anxious about two different things. But contracts here as well, Three of Pentacles, contracts with someone that you, this is a card that you see someone on a higher pedestal. So it could be related. It could be where it's like after that conflict, and this is my optimistic side, coming out Aries and then it's just like you have that conflict have those tough conversations and then that's where you guys are able to as the hanged man see things from like see things from a different approach approach things differently um and really start create some creating something beautiful um but here's the thing this is the hanged man where it's like you're getting a change in perspective right so there's definitely something uh, Aries, I do want to say here that there's something to look deeper into where it's just like you yourself have to change your perspective a little bit. There's a little bit of leeway that you need to have in, in order for this Three of Pentacles, this collaborative energy to work out, right? So it's one of those things for some of you Aries, you're gonna have to be comfortable with not calling all the shots, right? If that makes sense. So uh, yeah, higher finch though. I really do see like really good like in terms of like long-term commitments areas i see a lot of good things in this regard if you guys are like considering signing contracts like signing any contract in whatever degree really good week for it seems to be really promising but be look at all like look at different uh perspectives areas there is with this hanged man here there is something here that you could be going about in a different way <clears throat> but yeah, Aries, that's the cards that I have for you. Let's pull your crystal st uh, card for the week. See which crystal or stone is meant to be for you this week. If so, for anyone that's looking for an excuse to buy a crystal or a stone, right? We'll see which stone would be best with you, best fit or most fitting rather for your energies. Now, honey, I am going to be completely honest. Uh, <laughs> Aries, I have no clue what Big Spite does. What Big Spite is, honey, I didn't even know Big Spite was a thing until right now uh, with y'all. But uh, Big Spite does seem to be the stone for you guys. It's a red stone. Um, so... <laughs> take that as you will uh look up the metaphysical benefits of big spite i'll leave it up here so you can like get the spelling of it hopefully um of it so you can look it up see the properties of it see if, how it would be best uh fitting for your life at this time so that way you have a purposeful stone in your life and not just stones in your life that are just sitting there existing right 
But um, yeah, Aries, that is this. Let me know, actually. I'll be curious to hear about what Big Spite does. So if one of you guys are making it this far, Aries, let me know uh, what it, uh, the properties of it in the comments. I'll be looking. But uh, yeah, Aries, that is the tarot cards that I have for you for this weekly reading. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you. Give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aries, I do weekly zodiac readings for all the zodiac uh, signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, uh, send them their zodiac tarot reading video, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well, Aries. But until next time, I love you so much, Aries. Bye.